Hello everyone, this is Scott D. Welsh, the first in a long line of Scott D. Welsh's, which of course is impossible if I'm the first. But anyway, welcome to the Let's Talk About Robot Trading webinar. We do this every Thursday and it's at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard and it's so much fun. It's more fun than actually anyone deserves, but we do it for free. We do it every Thursday. A um, couple of quick things right up front. I want to show this to you. I'm going to minimize my box right here. Excellent. Uh, we're going to talk, obviously, about calm profits today. <laughs> Pretty interesting what happens when you calm down. But first, um, getting great feedback um, from the weekly email that I write every Wednesday. Got a really nice email this morning saying it's his uh, favorite thing he gets all week or whatever, which is very, very nice. It makes me cry. I'm so happy. Uh, all you have to do is go to my homepage, scottwelsh.me, click on this button. I get a little announcement. I do this all by hand, by the way. I haven't automated it. Why? Because I need to learn how to automate it perfectly. It actually is automated, but I actually go through and do every single request by hand. Ha, ha, ha. Because I want to know who's emailing me and wants the book. I want to be hands-on. Anyway. But the other thing I wanted to show you about today is the how to follow along part. Uh, it came to my attention in the last couple days that um, there are resources out there that people are not aware of and not using. And there are a bunch of different things that I throw out there. And uh, in my work, I just figure, oh, everybody knows what's happening. And guess what? Everybody does not. There is the webinar. That's not what I wanted to show you. But this, hey, look, we went to scottwelsh.me. If you want to find out how to follow along with all the stuff that I throw out there, you go to resources, you hover over it, huh? hover over it, and go to how to follow along. Or you can email me, and I'll just send you the link, and you can go right to it. Um, but if the internet ever works, which apparently it's not, uh, yeah, cool, thanks. Okay, Squarespace, all right. All right, how to follow along, and there's a bunch of things. The weekly newsletter, you got it, Wednesday. You can... Um, just sign up or go to the home page and do it. There's a YouTube page. Every video that I do on Thursdays go to this channel. So that's on that page. Click to it and subscribe. That's my Twitter. If you're not following me on Twitter, I think you should because it's hilarious and it's got a bunch of great tips for you. Um, plus, I may make announcements on various things. So if you're interested in Twitter, follow me there. I do a blog post based on self-improvement only. No trading involved. 22 years of me giving self-improvement tips to teenagers and adults and new parents and whoever. I've got a lot of stuff in my brain that I want to share. That goes out on Fridays. You can click to that. Um, I might send a, send, set up an email list for that, but we don't need to talk about that today. Uh, here's the Heron, the MyFX book link for that. Lifetime membership, And lifetime members get a bunch of free stuff. So there you go. All right. We've digressed long enough, but that's how to follow along. Let's get into Calm Profits. I don't think I've met anyone, and I've done a bunch of live events with my friend Rob Booker, and obviously I've been doing a blog post since 2013, every Wednesday, never missed. I do webinars on Thursday. I've never met anyone yet in the past several years that wants to go slower. Nobody wants to go slow. They want more trades, more money, more action, more, 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 more. No one, literally zero email saying, yeah, I see one of your robots is a day trading robot on a 15-minute chart. You got anything for a daily chart? That's just too much trading for me. I've got no one. No one, right? And, well, when I started, I didn't want slow either. I'll be honest with you. Okay. But after years of research, and I got interested in robots in 2012. I've been a trader since 2004. So it's been a while that I've been researching robots. 2012. My life is sometimes five to seven hours of testing a day. Sometimes I'm busy with other things, of course. But for the first two or three years, <laughs> I think family would come over like, you want to do something? I'd be like, no. And I'm sitting in a chair for like five to seven hours when they go to the mall. Um, I just had, I just love doing it. Anyway, one thing I found is less trading equals more profits. I'll let that sink in, dramatically pausing as I normally do. Now, I'm not talking about less trading. I'm not talking about just, you know, guys, hey, day trading makes more money. Day trading's definitely better. But, man, isn't that a drag? 
come on, guys, let's calm down and let's just go to a bigger chart. I'm not talking about that, although that is a smart thing to do probably, right? I'm talking about actually more money. I'm talking about slow down if you want to be a trade for a living day trader. Slow down. Take less trades. This is just my personal experience. I'm not saying that this is the only way. If you've listened to any webinar or heard, read any post, you know I never say there's only one way. There is never only one way to do anything. There are always multiple ways. I'm just telling you, every robot system I've tested, I have to slow it down to get it where I want to get. So instead of, well, we'll get to that. I'm not going to give it away. Okay. Since 2012, the moderate to slow systems, meaning one-third the amount of trades, one-fourth the amount of trades, one-fifth the amount of trades, the ones that don't trade every day, and I still get emails too. Does it trade every day? Does it trade every day? No. Oh, and they get disappointed. Sometimes it trades once a week, sometimes twice a week. And people, and actually, I don't get any complaining emails, at least right now, which is fantastic. You can ask me anything you want, and I'll answer you as fast as I can. But if you complain or a negative, then block. But anyway, <laughs> um, since 2012, by slowing it down, those are the robots that I've seen perform consistently. What do I mean by that? That means either I've traded them or I've been watching them every single day since 2012. Right now, it's not all, it's not every single day because sometimes I skip a day and check it. Sometimes I give it a week and check it. But I'm saying diligent watching since 2012. All of my robots get looked at. The ones that I'm trading get looked at multiple times a day. And the worst I ever look at anything is once a week. I am always looking at everything I've built and always going back. Is that weird? Does that make me a nerd? I'm cool. Don't you call me a nerd? But anyway, the ones that go slow. I haven't touched since like 2013, 2014. I, don't, I haven't changed them. You know the ones that I've had to change? They trade more often. If a robot goes bad, meaning more months than I expected of losing or longer losing streak than I expected, guess how you fix those? <laughs> guess. Guess. You do it calmer. You shorten the amount of trades. It, it works every time. It's crazy. It works every time, right? But the ones that trade long periods of the day, and we're just talking day trading, just day trading, the ones that trade the longest hours, meaning they're on for 12 hours a day rather than three hours a day, four hours a day, five hours a day. The ones that trade almost all day or half the day, those are streaky. They're wild. They go through massive losing streaks. They also go through winning streaks. But they're all over the place. See what I'm saying? Moderate to slow. Huh. Don't have to worry about it. Isn't that interesting? This should be interesting, and I'm pounding on my table. I hope you heard it. Okay. I talked about an example yesterday. Let's look at it right now. Did you catch that example, by the way? I don't know how diligently you read my emails. I mean, my newsletters go from 500 words to over 1,000 words, right? And I'm sorry if that's too long. I just get writing, and I can't stop. But did you catch the example, right? A robot that made $37,000 of profit, and again, this can be any trade size, multiply by 10 if you need more money, but 37,000 of profits going slow turned into a $280,000 loss when I went to a one-minute chart. So this is a robot on a 15-minute chart. Oh, that's pretty nice. This is the one-minute chart. It was six times as many trades, but everything else was the same. I didn't change anything except the time frame. Think about that. 37 turns into minus 280. Good grief. That's one advantage of going slower. But there are other things you can do to slow down. You can go up to really long time frames. Instead of you know just looking at 15 versus one minute, what if we look at daily charts? And the more I test and the more I trade, the more I'm falling in love with daily charts. Blah, who cares about daily charts? Who cares? Well, that's a weird voice. But anyway, I'm starting to love them. Now, the main argument against this is that they move too slowly. And Rob and I, actually, Rob and Jason and I, if you catch the Traders podcast, the three of us were reunited last week, and there's another episode coming out. We did two episodes. Uh -huh. 
But the three of us, and by the way, that was more fun than a barrel full of pickles. I love that so much. But anyway, the main argument against high time frames is that someone comes to me and I say, well, how much are you looking to try to create per month? And I say, you know, a couple thousand. And I say, okay, well, this robot will do it. And they're like, cool. And they're like, oh, how many times does that trade? I'm like, five times a year. <laughs> like, not interested. And not that they stop talking or rude, right? Because nobody's rude. But I'm just saying people, their eyes go, Bleh. no way I'm trading a robot that trades five times a year. Every other month, well, wait, it makes the same amount of money if you trade it every day. I don't care. I'm doing a lot of voices today. But is it true? The argument against is that, man, it, it's a great system. It just doesn't trade enough to make enough money. Is it true? Well, let's talk about it, okay? As I said, I love the daily time frame in general, and I specifically love it if we're talking about traditional turtle-like breakout trading. Go look up the turtles and how they traded in the 80s, and when you're trading trend following, listen to me now, when you're trading trend following, use bigger time frames. 240 minutes is probably too fast. I have robots tested for 240 minutes, but I'm just telling you. Trend follow it. When you want to catch major trends and lessen your drawdown, go to the daily time frame. Day trading is different. Trade trend following needs a daily or longer time frame. Okay. Sorry. Right. So I love it when we're talking about trend following. Well, okay. Why? Well, what does a breakout on a 15 minute chart really mean? Okay. Well, let's use some real world examples. You know how I love to take a concept and go into the real world. All right. Let's talk about the most books sold in the last 15 minutes. All right. Last 15 minutes before we got. Oh, that's annoying. Get out of here. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Trade Station. That is, uh, by the way, that's a day trading stock system I'm working on. <laughs> so it's actually kind of dramatic. Um, but anyway, um, you want me to turn that off? Here. Good. Turn that off. There. That won't happen again. Okay. Back to what we're talking about. If we looked at Amazon and the last 15 minutes of book sales, what does that mean? If someone sold 5,000 books in the last 15 minutes, which would be a boatload, is that person going to be the best author of the year, the best seller of the year? I mean, that's ridiculous, right? I mean, whoa, an author broke out. In the last 15 minutes, he sold all these books. This is the new bestseller for the year. That's ridiculous, isn't it? Isn't it, right? What about you're watching a sports contest, football, soccer for Americans, or American football or whatever? What if you're watching a team, right? You have a 60-minute game, right, in football. Soccer, what is it, Two ninety minutes, two 45-minute halves, right? Okay, in 15 minutes, not of game time, just in lifetime, you sit down in front of your TV, you're watching soccer, football, and 15 minutes, this team dominates. Is that team going to be the champion of the league four months from now? because they played one portion of one half of one game, can that extrapolate into something that's going to be a champion? Does that even mean they're going to win that game? Does it even mean they're going to win that half, right? It doesn't. So a breakout, we're talking about traditional trend-following breakouts, which work and have evidence that they work for thousands of years. But does it work on a 15-minute chart? A breakout on a 15-minute chart means nothing. It could be somebody slipped and hit the wrong button in the trading size, right? A breakout on a 15, as far as capturing a long trend, no. On 15 minutes, can you catch little fluctuations? Yes, little fluctuations. Can you catch long 100 pips of trend on a 15-minute breakout? Well, the answer is ultimately yes. One of the breakouts will go. But how many false moves will you get on a 15-minute chart? Over and over and over again, you will get false breakouts. Well, don't take my word for it. All right, here's one of my screens on my trade station. Here is the euro breakout, right? And let's check those profits, right? This is a breakout on a daily chart, okay? And by the way, these secret things are stuff we're going to talk about weeks to come. You know, remember when I said I was working on stuff? Anyway, anyway, this is the euro dollar daily breakout. You can see the data goes back to 1998. 
right? And I'm using monstrous size, okay? So this is, I show you, usually I show you for small accounts. This is for a big account, okay? 459,000 of profits, eh, that's pretty good. $44,000 of drawdown, right? Well, what does that look like? Um, oh, look at that. Does a breakout on a long time frame work? Huh, yes, it does. Same system, same system, 15 minute chart. Are you ready? All right, I'll sing you a song while we wait, right? And this is not, I'm not gonna sing you, but I'll sing you a song. This is not 1998, this is 2009. Uh-oh, look at that. Now, first thing you wanna notice is look at all those trades. Man, we're trading, we're trading like crazy. Um, how much, my, oh, oh, it's only, now here's the good news, it's only a $1.1 $1 million drawdown. Oh, but wait, it loses 1.1 million. The worst drawdown it's ever had is now. Okay, good grief. Look at that. Loss, 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 loss. All right? Them are the facts. Same system. This goes fast. This goes slow. Which one would you like? See what I'm saying? Okay. Now, let's move on. Is it profitable enough though? Well, if $459,000 is not profitable enough, then we gotta guess, go ahead and keep talking about it, right? Now, this, I obviously told you this was big size. So we're talking about a three, three, a six figure account. Only trading that Euro breakout that we just talked about. This only averages seven trades a year. Blah! Every other month you get a trade. Not good, right? I get it. The average monthly return, including the months you do not trade, the average monthly return is over $2,000 a month, okay? What are your expenses? How are you living, okay? Or if you look at it from the Mr. Money Mustache account size, which we've es estimated as about six hundred k, that's $12,000 a month average trading one little breakout not a portfolio one thing now you got to be able to take that forty four thousand dollar drawdown okay and you can be trade you can trade this with big size you do get the problem of day trading at some point if your size gets too big your system's going to change now i don't know that i don't trade 400 lots on a 15 minute chart but i'm telling you there's a reason why billionaires don't trade it my systems or day trading systems I preach it, I trade my system. Well, they can if they want. But the reason they don't trade day trading system is that you've traded 400, 500 lots on a day trading system. I bet your fill will be slightly changed. However, if you're using a daily chart, it's not going to bother anything because we're going for hundreds of pips. So this is unlimited size, 12,000 a month if you're trading big size. And it's just one thing, going slowly, right? You buying what I'm selling yet? Well, let's do other advantages. If you go slowly, all right, now this is the let's build a trading system together part of our program, okay? If you decide that daily or higher are the way you want to be and you decide to go slowly, here is the advantage. Just pick a timeless principle. Just pick one, any one, and that will probably work. You can probably trade for a living on it. <gasps> Gasp, I know, it's mostly, what I say is mostly true. You will have to do a tiny bit of work, but we're not talking about thousands of hours like I've spent on day trading systems. We're talking about just hours of work, okay? And you gotta know what you're doing with testing, of course, right? But I'm telling you, you can just take timeless principles without much work, throw it on a daily or higher chart and you will make money. I've seen it with my own eyeballs. Let's do it. Don't believe me. Let's do it. All right. Let's pick a simple concept that makes sense and put it on a day trading time frame. I just read that verbatim. That's fantastic. I hate when people read to you. Have you heard about the famous golden cross? Just look it up. It's everywhere. It's on TV. It's in books. It's famous. You know what it is? When the 50 moving average crosses the 200. When you talk about Kramer, or CNBC, or anyone. Guess what they talk about? 50-day moving average, 200-day moving average. 
That's basically all anybody ever talks about ever. It's famous. Okay. Why is it famous? Because it makes sense. If the 50 day crosses the 200, the short term trend has changed and something is happening. Buy. Slow trend is popped up above the 200. Things are happening. Something's going on. Go long. All right. That's the golden cross. When the 50 crosses the 200, and I'll show it to you in a second. All right. So let's just take the golden cross and put it on that euro, euro US dollar chart. Why the euro? Because it's the thickest. Everybody knows the euro. Everybody trades it. Right. And honestly, it's just the first thing I picked. OK, so take the golden cross, put it on the daily chart. Now, one thing we will add is let's exit each trade by about three months. OK, let's not let it just um, rotate from long to short based on the 50 crossing and over. Let's just have an end date. Right. I believe in targets. I like targets. Um, number one, psychologically, when you know you have, you're in this trade for three months, you can stay disciplined. If you if you're just waiting for the 50 to cross, do you know how hard that is psychologically? Oh, great. I'm in profit. Uh oh, 50's dropping. Oh, look, it looks like I'm going to short. I'm going to get out of this trade. Oh, wait, it didn't cross. Right. There's all sorts of pitfalls. So I just picked about three months. OK, let's take a look, shall we? It's hiding right behind. It's hiding right behind. Look, look, look. Here it is. 200 period moving average. Simple, by the way. People love to talk about simple exponential. Simple. 50 day simple when here's your system ready write this down you don't need to write it down when the 50 crosses the 200 something has happened right look it was down it was down it was down for all these days then it pops up above the 200 then the 50 crosses so the robot enters right after it crosses oh does it work look <laughs> it did in about three months there's a time exit almost exactly three months of trading days, not calendar days, but trading days. And there you go. There's an example of a successful trade. Again, this is due small trade size, right? Well, I mean, it's two full lots, so it's kind of small. What does that mean? Well, let's take a look, shall we? Again, it's from 1998 to now, and you have all the system rules. Are you ready? <laughs> Golden cross, three months out. 44 grand. It works both long and short. <laughs> okay, but the drawdown is kind of crappy, right? But um, <clears throat> this is basically what kind of stuff you get when you trade index, right? Huge drawdowns for a little bit of profits, right? So this is not that different from trading an index fund. And there are famous people out there trading long-term systems that have been unoptimized for a decade that will give you profit to drawdown and will tell you that this is a viable system. This is a real thing. This is real numbers. This is what real people will sell you about a one-to-one -one ratio. Of course, we like it better than that. I'm just telling you. But also keep in mind, this is with no optimizing, right? You look at the periodical returns. Oh, we have losing years. Guess what? Index funds have losing years all the time. Oh, and what happened when everybody was losing 50% or all their money? This particular system goes crazy in chaos. So this is great. Chaos this year, right? Hedge funds are down. Oh, look, this trend following system would kill it this year. Of course, you know, losing years, but look, mostly it's profitable, okay? And there's your graph. Oh, choppy, but still, you know, we didn't do any testing. All we did was take a timeless principle and put it on a long-term chart. I'm telling you, build trading systems this way. <sighs> now, let's compare that. Same exact system. There's your 50, there's your 200, 15 minute chart. Um, how do you think it will do, right? Right? What do you think? Huh? Anybody? Any guesses on what this is going to happen? I'm not going to check. Just go ahead and type it in if you want. Ready? Dun, dun, dun. I wonder what's going to happen. Hmm. All right. Wonder if it's going to be better. Yeah, it'll probably be better because more trades is definitely better. This is, oh no. <laughs> it did it again. Same concept. 15 minute chart, same amount of bars it exited on, right? And the daily, it, it turned out to be about three months, but in 15 minutes, it would be just the same amount of bars. Was it like 60 bars? I can, whatever, I forget. Oh, 168. Again, this is only since 2004, minus $168,000. This, profitable, no work. This, garbage. <laughs> Lose all your money. What do you think about going slow? Eh? Any comments? Hmm? 
The bottom line is slower almost always means more profit and an easier lifestyle. By the way, if you're building a trading system, slow it down. If you're testing something that doesn't work, slow it down, right? Slow down your mind, slow down your systems, take less trades, and I bet you, you might do better, or you probably will do better, or you definitely will do better, okay? Let's see if anybody has any comments before we wrap it up. Let's see, scrolling back. All right. So if you take, Ilima says, if you take less trades, then you'd have to increase trade size. That seems logical, does it, Ilima? The question is, well, if you take less trades, you've got to make more money per trade. The answer is not, all, not necessarily. I'm just telling you. Especially when you're talking about trade follow, or trade follow, trend following Elima, you can use very similar trade sizes because a win on a trend following system can be almost the whole year. So, yes, the answer is maybe. But you would be surprised, Elima, at how you do not, how often you do not have to increase trade size. Elima <laughs> says, I am a nerd. Oh, I'm crying. But then she says it in a good way. Okay. All right. Thank you, Elima, Elima, Elima. Oh, we got another question. I just like saying, Elima, can you just reverse the crossover and buy when you sell? I did a webinar not too long ago where I took a trading system that didn't work. And Daniel and I reversed it, and it didn't work. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, I didn't even test that. You know, you could fade it. Absolutely, you could. Um, but I, it was. Um, I did a whole webinar on it. It's on the YouTube archives. But it was crazy. There are some systems that don't work both ways, and that doesn't seem logical, but it's a fact. All right, that is all for this week. Let's give you the wrap up information. Um, hair and course is out there. The books are out there. You know, I, I gave you some sneak previews. We've got futures, stock day trading system. There's stuff going on. Um, books still on Amazon. Going to be writing a new one soon. Um, you got the you got how to follow along. We're up over 1870 now in YouTube. We're just flying up. Um, it's everything's going great. And there is the contact information. All right, email me with questions, comments, and anything else. All right, everybody. So awesome. I will see you next week, and you'll have a blog post coming on Friday, and of course, in your email box next Wednesday. Bye for now.